Hey guys, me SauceCount43, and I'm here today to review this signature Webkins. Today is the signature Border Terrier. And anyway, just going over the basics real quick. If you would like to request a Webkins for me to compare or review, please leave your comment in the video I link in the description down below. Comments are unapproved, so you can go ahead and do that. And please only use it for requesting, comparing, and reviewing videos. It's not meant for any other stuff, so. And let's go ahead and dive on into this Webkins. Now, Signature Border Terrier is made up of about three types of fur, well, four, actually. It's got this color, long, messy fur for the body. It's got this gray, white, and a bit of a tan in there for this part of the muzzle. It's got this cream colored here. It's actually very silky for the belly. And it's got this brown color for the ears. So anyways, um, the silky color, or the, the tan color, the, the messy, the brown messy fur goes pretty much all over this pet. So yeah, um, starting off with its eyes, it does have brown eyes as you can't see actually. <laughs> And there's a bit of brown color in here on the muzzle. And anyways, that goes on, it kind of loops halfway here on the muzzle, and it goes into this uh, gray that almost makes it look like a mustache. It looks like a giant mustache. <laughs> um, it goes off to the sides here, as you can see, just like that. And it does have a little black nose. I don't know if it's made a bit brownish. I'm not just exactly 100% sure. I think it's a it's a very dark brown. Very dark brown, almost black. Brownish black, that's the thing. And um, it's got coloring around its nose and it's got kind of a brown thread mouth that's really, really hard to see. Anyways, the cream color goes down to the chest here and ends at the paws, as you can see. Anyways, going on to the ears, it has floppy ears that kind of, they're, they're short, sticking up floppy ears, and they're really cute. You can mess around with them, doing lots of cute things. It's, you can do a lot of things with the ears. They're made with a brown material, and they have the inside like this, and they're kind of sewn together, so they're in a little bit of an awkward position, but I think that's what makes it cute. Anyways, going on to the back, like I said, the, the brown messy fur goes down here all the way to the tip of his tail, just like so. It goes down the sides of the paws, that the belly. On um, the bottom of the feet are uh, beige, tan, whichever you want to call it. It's up used on its front left paw, its left, my right. And you go here, it has the, you know, average tush tag. Nothing really that special. Okay, well, um, another thing is, it is kind of a stiff signature. It's it's more floppy than some of them, like the Signature Endangered Cloud Leopard, maybe even the White Tiger. Well, I actually say it's about the same as the White Tiger. Um, but yeah, it's not very floppy. It's very stiff. Now, can I recommend this pet? I'm iffy on this because it is a really cute pet and I think you could have a lot of fun with this. And I don't know, just something about the messy fur, it kind of bugs me. And if you try and brush it out, it'll look bad. Um, so it's kind of like, if you're fine with it having messy fur all the time, then by all means, you'll probably love this pet. But in all honesty, the fur isn't even that soft. I, I don't find it very soft at all. So if I can recommend this pet, it's, um, I guess if I had to say something, I would say no. It's. It's not that it's a bad pet, it's just I find a couple little things like it's not very soft and the messy fur to be a bit of a downside to it. But you know, if you like the pet, if you like how it looks and it catches your interest right off the bat, then I would say you'll probably love it. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one later. <laughs>